Hi, it's Carly from The Enquirer, and I'm here with the new Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 tablet. The first thing that really struck us about this device is just how light it is. The device weighs in at just 600 grams, which is about 52 grams lighter than the new iPad, and you really do notice it when you hold it in the hand. This is mainly because of its plastic material. As you can see, it is crafted completely from plastic. Even the chrome edging around the edges is plastic as well, which does make the device feel slightly cheap, which is a bit disappointing considering its £400 price tag. However, we do think it looks quite nice, and um, in the casing you'll, you will find a decent 10.1 inch 1280 by 800 screen, which sort of makes up for its plastic casing. In terms of ports on the device, if you look on the top, there's a headphone jack, a micro SD slot, which will take cards up to 64 gigabytes a volume rocker and an on-off suite. In the bottom right hand corner you can see there's a port where you can pop the included stylus. We did find this quite handy as without it we would probably end up losing the styluses which are quite expensive to buy on their own. When you turn the device on you'll see it's quite similar to the Galaxy S3 with its lock screen. Um, it, the device runs Android 4.03 ice cream sandwich and although some users might be a bit disappointed that it's not running Jelly Bean, Samsung have customised the interface so much that the version of Android you're running isn't that obvious. The reason Samsung have done this is to give the device a focus on productivity, making it different from its Tab 10.1 and 10.12 devices. So as you can see, the main home screen, you'll find Samsung's hubs at the forefront, similar to the home screen on the Google Nexus S. And there's a number of apps pre-installed as well. So we've got S-Note, S-Planner, Photoshop, and a number of multitasking tools as well. So this is a device really aimed at the professional market. As you can see, the S-Note application, it lets you doodle with the stylus, which is really, really responsive, especially compared to that one you'll find on the... Galaxy Note smartphone. One feature we really liked with regards to productivity is the multi-screen mode. As you can see if I tap this button up here, it lets you run two apps side by side. And We found this most useful when we were looking at websites and making notes and we could do those both at exactly the same time. Another handy productivity feature is the screenshot button which makes it really, really easy to capture a screenshot on Android, which has often been quite difficult on other devices. In terms of other specifications, there's a 1.9 megapixel HD front-facing camera on the device, which means this can also be used for video conferencing and video calls. On the back, there's a 5 megapixel HD camera, which throughout our testing has proved quite impressive, although we're yet to give it a thorough testing just yet. There's also a 7000 mAh battery under the hood, and as we've only had the device for a day, we haven't been able to test this out just yet, but do check back to the Enquirer next week for our full Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 review.